Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Veronica. I'm not even going to call it by its full name anymore. It's just, it's more fun to call it Veronica. Uh, last time I had a bit of a meltdown. <laughs> I mean, maybe not meltdown, but you know. Uh, I feel like I've been getting really irritable with my games and these rotations lately. So I'm thinking I might need to take a break. But in the meantime, I'm planning on playing this game. And, like, I'm planning on recording today, I should say. Uh, another thing worth noting is that, uh, because of some shenanigans I was doing in, in Hitman, I noticed my brightness on my TV was actually kind of low, so I've ended up adjusting my brightness a bit. So now, the capture is really dark by comparison, but for me, I can see a lot more. Like, that hallway by itself was really fucking opaque. And I don't know if my capture card is bad or what, but... I mean, I've been having that issue with when I was editing the Let's Play earlier. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, by the way, before anyone tells me, you can use the lockpick on the Duralumen case. I don't know how it wasn't letting me, but you can. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna go grab the explosive bolt ammo, or whatever, and then we're gonna go make progress for once in our short, meaningless lives. I'm hoping I can, like, get out of my funk with this game, because last segment was bad. But this segment will be good. Why? Because I'm willing it so. And that's, that's all you need. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just... I, I want to enjoy this game. Even, even if it ends up being a game I don't like, I want to have at least, like, I want it, the Let's Play to at least be somewhat entertaining. Like, I feel like Survivor I didn't really like, but at least... At least the ending to that shit show was kind of funny. <laughs> I gotta fucking, like, I can't monetize that video just because I used fucking seven seconds of a song just to layer the salt in the wound. But whatever. It was worth it. I don't monetize any of my videos in the first fucking place. I have a Patreon that literally only one person in their entire life has ever subscribed to, so... Whatever. Anyways, let's see what's behind door number one now that everything's been ventilated. I no longer need the biohazard card. Feel free to get rid of that shit. Let's let's do that. Uh, is this the door we entered the first? What was that say? Doorknob is missing. Okay. Do we find the doorknob at some point, or is that just like no, you're never entering? I want to say you find the doorknob just because that's the type of game that Resident Evil tends to be. Uh, anything in the lab coat? No, nothing. All right. Where's the Bandersnatch that's totally going to own me? Also, I forgot the code. Shit. Oh god, what was the code? It was 1126, I think. I think that was the code. If it's not the code, I'm gonna have to fucking check my video. And I don't want to do that. But I think it was 1126. But that's what it was for the safe in Resident Evil 2, so... It would be a fun little callback if Claire had the same code as she did in her debut game. Do I not... Okay, here we go. Okay, one. One. Two. Six. Cool. Uh, would it have let you brute force that? I mean, I know we had to have the cutscene and then the ventilation, but like, would it have even let me put in the password? Or would she have been like, oh, I don't know the password, I can't do it. I I'd expect the latter, to be honest. But, whatever. Bandersnatch? I don't hear anything. That's foreboding. I should probably equip the gra grenade launcher because I don't have any healing on me. And it actually just occurred to me how quickly I could die. And the bow gun is like not very helpful for my purposes. Uh, he's already dead. Cool. It's cracked. It's destroyed from inside with great force. Cool. That's 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 a good sign of things to come. What was that? There's nothing useful. All right. So, what was the point? Maybe something escaped through the crypt. Okay. Okay, but what was the point? Oh. Oh. I can just take it. Oh, hi. Um. Oh, that's the albinoid! Uh. Uh. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, oh, okay. No, I, I, no, we're going. I don't... 
Uh, oh, I can't get around? What do you mean I can't get around? Okay, whatever. Oh, I'm so dead. Alright, that was... Resident Evil, you know, you, you may have been fucking me off of it. So if I retry, does that just start me from the save point, or... But yeah, you're kind of fucking me off a bit with that, but... God, why'd I even retry then? That's just gonna lower my rank. Is it entirely fair to say that my good mood with Veronica lasted only five minutes? Because, uh... Because I've had to do this off-screen, and these little fuckers are just the worst. I... I... I wish I was good enough to consistently dodge them. But they're just... they're just the worst. They're fucking annoying. I, I think, like, if you spend too much time trying to kill them, it's almost your detriment. Because, like, they're still gonna hit you, it feels like, but... Whatever. I'll try using more ammo, because I've been trying to use ammo on these things. And it's, it feels, like, wasteful, but, like, also... The damage that they deal is, like, annoying, and I don't want to deal with it. Okay. okay. Asshole. Okay. Yeah, now she's dragging herself, but whatever. So the problem is that, like, I care about this damage because if she goes to dragging herself, then she can't outrun the dogs that we're going to have to walk past, which, uh, because we can get out of this sequence no problem. Like, load screens be damned, we'll be fine. It's more that now we have to go past the dogs, and I don't want to waste ammo on those dogs because I can consistently dodge them, except for when I'm in this fucking dragging myself state, which not very, uh, conducive to... Yeah, actually, I just realized, I don't have to go past the dogs. I can go past here. I can go there. Yeah, never mind, never mind. I didn't even consider that. I feel so foolish. Okay. I can dodge the worm so much easier than the dogs, to be honest with you, so. And I think this is less screens going this way anyway, so. We'll be fine. See, look, the worm doesn't give a shit. You wanted to gulp me, but, uh, you missed. <laughs> you missed. Anyways. So we're going back to, I, I, I think we have to go back to that save point that had the picture of the, the, the fucking, of, of Salazar from Resident Evil 4 in it. I wonder if that's actually, like, Salazar's design is a callback to that. I heavily doubt it. Also, I went the wrong way. Uh, is this the elevator? No, that's not the elevator. So yeah, I did go the wrong way. I doubt it's a callback to that anyway, but you never know. So wait, is this the way I want to go? Yeah, that's exactly where I want to go. Okay. Just making sure. Alright, so I could really use a red herb. I, I'm i obviously a death's door. What? Oh, God. I forgot you guys were alive. Oh, you're going to get me. Don't get me. Don't get me. Don't get me. Don't get me. Don't. Okay. What do you mean you're back up? Fuck off. Okay. Oh, you're from the thing. That's right, you're from the thing. Okay. Sorry, I thought this was the floor with the save point, but no. Okay. It was the room where... I remember now. I remember. Although I don't remember which floor I need to go to. Uh, base floor one is where we came from. We're on floor four, four one, so we want to go to floor two. Easy. Easy. Mathed it out. <laughs> Math. I don't know. Honestly, if I get a red herb, I'm gonna feel so much more confident. Oh god! This was the second floor! God damn it. Wait, no, so the- so we- no, no, I was wrong! Wait, so they just added zombies to the first floor. Okay. I'm shocked that zombie didn't kill me. I'm like, retroactively shocked. Oh my god. Okay. So I guess my- so I guess I am stupid. You know, ten minutes in, we've discovered I'm actually very stupid. That's fine. Okay. Hey, buddy. You die now. Are you bleeding? You are. Cool. <sighs> Veronica has to be like one of the most asshole Resident Evil games I've played so far. Even 3 wasn't this, like, this mean-spirited to you. I feel like this game is just, like, out for blood. Yeah, uh, okay, do it. No, that's triangle. I meant to, uh, here. Use it. Hooray. Okay, cool, what is this? What? 
The gold key. Cool. What is all this? Oh, a diorama modeled after this facility. There's a hole to put something in. Uh, my dick? Like, what do I... Would I use the gold key? No, okay. Alright, good to know, I guess. Uh, yeah, alright. There's nothing else about it. Got it. A memorial plate. There's some writing on it. Dedicated to the training facility's completion. December 8th, Alfred Ashford. Am I stupid for not remember? Oh, I can lockpick this. Cool. The lock has been released. First aid spray. Cool. You know what? You know what? Who fucking cares about my rank? Who gives a shit? I'm already gonna fucking... Who gives a shit? At this point, I care about finishing the game. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm not gonna save now that I'm at full HP, but... Where would I use the gold key is my next question. Uh... Let me see. What locked doors would I be able to open now? I don't even know what locked doors I've encountered that I've needed to go through. Uh, no, not the airport. Uh, is it literally just that, that one in the bottom left there with the, with the banner snatches? No, no, that's not the banner snatches. That's the, that's the gold worm. Never mind. Uh, is that what the gold key is for? Because I don't see any other locked doors I could open. Uh, except for that one right there, but that's just the one that was... That, so that's that's the save point in item box for, for the the first banner snatch we ever encountered. And then there's the no doorknob door, so yeah, it, it has to be... It has to be this door. Uh, you know what, let me check the... You know, it just occurred to me, I could check the key itself. Do you have any hint on you? It might be for the mansion, honestly. Golden key... Yeah, Ashford Family Crest is carved on it. Okay, maybe it's for the mansion. Okay, let's go back there. Yeah, I'm feeling like that's probably the best bet right now. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go buy those bander snatches again, but whatever. I give a fuck at this point. I'm I, I've said it before, I'm fully expecting that I'm going to have to restart this playthrough. And do it better and more efficiently and knowing what I need to do, you know? Which is sad to say, but then again, if I could make it through fucking Nemesis without having to restart, maybe not. I guess to be fair, my Nemesis playthrough wasn't that bad until Clock Tower Nemesis. Because that's when shit just got capital fucking B bad. And I still to this day don't know what the consistent strat for him is going to be. Like, I don't believe the freeze rounds are going to help me. I don't believe they will save me. So, I still need to play that game on my own time. And figure out how much I enjoy it or not. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, banner snatches be nice. Be nice. I said be nice. Oh, that's cool. You're just blocking me. Oh my god. I'm so... I'm already a caution. I love this game so fucking much. It's unreal. They just... They block me off. She can't walk over a dead body in that one room. Oh man, I love this game. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. So there's got to be a locked door in here that I can unlock with it. So there was at least one on the bottom floor. Like, the first floor. And then I think there was one... Can I aim at you from the stairs? Because if I can, then eat my shit forever. Here. I'm going to lead you over here. And then... Oh no, you can't, you can't climb upstairs. What? Oh my god. Are you... Okay. Now you're going to grab me immediately. Oh, what the fuck? You- okay. Alright. Anyone else really happy with how things have developed in the past five minutes? <sighs> Whatever. I just- I just- uh, at this point I'm being told I should kill every zombie I see just because they're magnificent cunts. And it's like, yeah, but then I take damage. And it's like, I, mean, I almost feel like I'd rather dice roll trying to dodge them. But whatever. Discard the gold key. I don't- I didn't even save, I just realized. Yeah, whatever, who cares? At this point, who gives a fuck? What is this room gonna have? Uh, yes? Actually, let me check the pictures. It's a man's portrait. 
An earthenware vase is also illustrated. Yes, I said vase. Push the button? No, I don't know what the buttons do yet. A red-haired man holding a tea set. There's a button below. I don't know what the buttons do, so no, I'm not going to push it. Oh, the stairs. Pure white candlestick. Something is written at the base, or on the base. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Okay. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative... As a commemorative... Is commemorative a noun? I thought commemorative was only an adjective. Whatever. To Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. Cool. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise Umbrella Incorporated. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father Sir Alexander succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. Okay. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this vase continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon. You're not even in Ashford? Oh, you're the butler to the Ashford family. Okay. Alright. New master. Alright, so is that going to be part of a puzzle? It's the same child seen from the projector film. There's a message written on the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy. Reveal the true master. There's a button below. No, I don't know what the button does. Completely broken. Alright. So I'm sensing that we're going to have to push these buttons in a specific order. Probably based on the lineage. A beautiful woman holding a tea set. There's a button below. No. Okay. Picture of a man. Pure white candlestick is also illustrated. He looks like the butler. Whatever. So yeah, I'm going to assume that's what you have to do. Is there anything else I can interact with, though? Oh, there's more portraits. Okay. It's a picture of a red-haired man. An earthenware plate is also illustrated. There's a button below. Oh, this, pu this puzzle is starting to seem a little complicated. A middle-aged man is holding... A middle-aged man is with red-haired twins. A tea set is placed on the table. There's a button below. Okay. He's probably got to be the first one, because... Well, he's going to be before the red-haired ones, I'm imagining. Right? Because he's... Yeah. Man's portrait, earthenware vase is illustrated. Okay, um... I, I think I need to read the memo one more time. Okay, let me file... Is it here? Where, where is it? Uh, memo to new master. Sir Alfred... First began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. So Veronica's the first one. Okay. As the founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. So Veronica's the first one. Let, let's do Veronica first, then. Let's just push it immediately, so that way we don't fuck it up. Are you Veronica? Probably. Would I do the butler first? Because the butler presented it. Yeah, I feel like I'd do the butler first, right? And then... Veronica. And then... He, the, the file mentions something about red hair, so he'll probably tell me the order I want to do it. Come on. Uh, do, 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 do. Second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. So it's just two, though. Not, not a dad and two sons. It's just a dad and a son. Okay. Um... That throws a wrench in things. But they're not red-haired. So that narrows it down. So if they're not red-haired, they have to be... They can't be red-haired, right? Right? Uh, a middle-aged man with red-haired twins. So I'm going to say this is probably Stanley. And then this is probably Thomas. It has to be. By pro process of elimination, he has to be Thomas. 
I can't wait until I get this totally fucking wrong and, like, this, it starts, like, spawning in poison darts or some shit. I don't know. Spawning them. Not even shooting the darts. Just spawning them. Okay. Um, if the position shift is Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. From Sir Thomas to his twin brother. Sir wait. Oh, shit. And then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. Wait. Wait, no, that's... Oh, no. Okay, okay. I did it wrong. Okay. I think I get it. So, there, okay. So, the guy did have two sons. Let me let me exit and re-enter. The guy did have two sons, but for whatever reason, one of the sons wasn't, like, up for lineage contention at all. Like, it, he wasn't even mentioned. Which, I guess, makes sense, because, you know, the older one will probably have more, like... There's a word for it, like, I guess superposition, but that's a geologic term. Whatever. Push the button. Okay, so... No. Oh, I already pushed it. Okay. Uh, okay, so does it... Does it... Nah, eh, whatever. Okay, um... No, so we're not doing you. We're not doing you. I, I just realized I'm not doing you. We're doing you. Push the button. Okay, and then, how do I know the difference between the, the twins? This is a man holding... Oh, tea set! And then the other one has an earthenware vase. Okay. So, let's see. Um... Okay. Where's... Which one has the vase and which one has the tea set? Uh... Okay. So, Thomas to his twin... Br Wait. Oh, okay, Thomas was presented with a teacup. Okay. Cool. That that answers the question. All right. Um. So you, T set. Yes. Push the button, and then Thomas, is you. Or no, you're 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 the other one. I mean, and then last but not least has to be this is Grandpa, right? Fuck. Did I do it wrong? Does the butler have to be the last one? It totally does, doesn't it? The butler is the last one you push. God damn it. Ugh. Okay, let me read it one more time. Sorry, this is boring, I know, but... Um... Sir Edward was the one who did... Who created an umbrella. That's great, I guess. Whatever. Your father, Sir Alexander... Succeeded the... Blah, 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 blah. So, that didn't mention anything about... Okay, is, is the butler's... No, oh, shit. I didn't need to do that. Okay, um, was there a portrait up here I could press the button of? Um... There's a button below. Push it. Oh. Alright. So, I did do it wrong. Okay. Well, let's let's try a few more times. I might have to look the solution up at this rate because I'm trying to like actually be a little bit like prompt. I don't know. Like, I want my time to be like I, I only have so much time to do this this recording. Let me say so. So that was Veronica. Then this guy had the sons. He looks so happy. And then uh, you are the son that first inherited, and you are the son that inherited second. And then you are the grandpa, right? Yes. Question mark. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I even push you. You're the butler. Whatever. Uh, oh, okay, I did it right. I thought for a second it was giving me the thing where it's like, oh, you did it wrong. So I just did the butler wrong. Okay. What is this? Uh, take the earthenware vase. What does that do for me? Um, can I check it? Uh, hey, there's something in there, I think. Excuse me. Take it. What is it? Uh... The queen's ant object was found in the vase. I feel like I should know what to do with this, but I kind of forgot. Isn't it... Wasn't there... Maybe it's in the room where we get the gold lugers. Maybe. Let me go there. 
I'm glad I solved the puzzle on my own. It wasn't terribly complicated, just... It was a little vague, so there's a little room for interpretation. But whatever, um... Uh, I'm annoyed at how much damage I've taken this segment. Because, again, it feels like healing is going to be the thing that, like, determines everything, but whatever. Uh, okay. What about you? A jewels, uh, do I not use it here? Um... Am I misremembering where to use it? Types of handguns. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go back in that room. I'm real quickly gonna check if I can use it on the ants, like, thing. Because that's the only ant iconography I can think of that I've seen. So, like, if it's not here, then where else would it... Can I really not... Oh, my God. I don't like when that game, when this game does that thing where it's like, oh, you can't just cross us, you gotta go all the way around, like, fuck off. After an ant is displayed here. Okay, so if I use it, okay, well, well, I'll go fuck myself then. What do I do? What do I do with the fire ant? The, 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 the ant jewel. Was there something I forgot? Uh, it feels like I forgot something now. Like, where else would I use it is the problem. Silver Crest is carved into it. Uh, I need to make a save, because I've... I haven't saved yet. And even though I've done... Oh, God, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! I, I really do hate this game so much right now. I didn't back up nearly as much as I thought I did. You know, I'm playing poorly and I admit it, but also these zombies are like gigantic cunts. We gotta admit that to ourselves. So am I at red caution now? Uh, orange caution, that's great. Okay. Having a blast! Having a fucking ball! Fuck! I, I didn't see you! And he just- they get up immediately! Oh my god! Okay. Oh no, thank you for that. I- I'm so mad. Like, they just do so much fucking damage! Why even use the bow gun? It feels like the bow gun is getting me killed, because at least the handgun could do something. I actually think I need to re-record this now, because like... Okay, when I say re-record, I mean just do all the shit off screen, because it's like, I've taken so much fucking damage! Oh my god, this... I can see why people don't like the series if this was the first fucking game they played in the series. This shit sucks, and... This isn't even where I needed to go, is it? Oh, I'm so actually mad. I'm really trying to meet you halfway, but I can't... There's an invitation in the shape of two guns. Do I put the gold Lugers there? Is that what they're for? Do I not actually use them? Honestly, that's fine by me. I just... I need some crumb of knowing what to do. Some fucking, like, morsel of what, what progress I can make. No... Uh, at this point, I'm, like, convinced I need to just, like, like re-record up to this point now. Like, uh, a little, like, off-screen up to this point on my last save, but... Whatever. No, I didn't mean to equip. Oh, my god. There we go, so you do put them here. Okay. Okay. Lock has been released. Where does this take me? I'm gonna die anyway, so just let's, let's get the... Let's get a, a quick little sneak preview. Oh, I thought that was, like, the sound of glass breaking. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this room, it looks like, so let's start with the file. Or is that handgun ammo? It looks like handgun ammo, actually. Handgun bullets, okay. Fireplace does not appear to be used recently. An antique music box. Would I use the fire ant jewel on it by any chance? Ah, whatever. Uh, is there something... Well, first, let's... Something's written on the left, right, left, right. Right, right, right. You must not reset while maneuvering. Okay. Uh... Left, right... Left, right. Okay, sorry, I just... I'm, I'm trying to memorize this. 
in case it comes up immediately. Sure. Oh, oh, this again? The fucking creepy incest twins? Like, okay, I get it. Do we really need to see this again? Was this, like, remarkably necessary? I clearly need to know a password by now. What the fuck is this painting? What the fuck? Whatever. So I still don't know what to do now. Even though I've made some progress, I've uh, also lost an idea of what to do. Fireplace, can I do something with you now? There's a- oh, okay, here we go. Left. Right. Okay, one. So that's the first digit. One is the first digit. Left. One, nine, 1984. Is it actually going to be 1984? No. 197. Right, right, right. 1974? 1971. Okay, uh, I'm done. Can I leave? No, I, I'd like to leave. No, I, I, okay, there we go. 1971 was the number. Alright, this better be good. 1971. Yes. Cool, I guess. Maybe I- oh, 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 I'm dead. Oh, come on! Get away from me! Uh, where do I go? Maybe I won't redo it, maybe I will, I don't know, I just- okay. I'm still alive somehow, which is good, but... At what cost? Um... So... Why do I feel like something's about to murder me? Yes? I'm walking just in case. Just in case something like happens. Where the fuck are we going? Hell? Okay. That was something, I guess. Okay, uh, oh shit! Uh, I'm dead. Dead! How have I not died? 17? Alright, alright. And now I get to off screen all that. Am I really just expected to kill banner snatches as I run into them? Because they kind of seem like they're not worth it to me. I don't know. It's just like, I don't I don't have that much ammo to work with besides the handgun and the bowgun. The bowgun, it feels like, is a fool's errand to use. I don't know. Am I am I playing this wrong? Like, I feel like you should just be dodging them. It's like how in, in Resident Evil 1, sometimes the best way to deal with a hunter is just to know how to dodge them. Because they, you know, they had a very obvious, like... Well, maybe not very obvious, but, like... Once you're familiar with their attack pattern, there's a very consistent way to dodge them. Uh, but here, it's like, I don't know, it, it just feels like there's not enough room to dodge them sometimes, or just the game doesn't want you to, and it's like, I don't know, I'm a little frustrated. I'm a little frustrated. Like, I'm, I'm, so, like, I'm sorry, I, I, I was at least having a somewhat good time with Nemesis, even when it was a little frustrating. But this is just, like, really... I'm not having that much fun. And I, I hate to say that, but... Whatever. I need to take a break and, like, not be playing this game for a bit anyway. So, 
I'm going to have to off-screen back to this point, which shouldn't take that long, but I'm going to not have fun doing it. So, whatever. That's, that's, that's neither here nor there. I'll see you in seven years. So, I return to you all with good news and bad news. The good news is that I was able to get to this section right here. Uh, get all the items up to this point, like, that I had gotten without taking any damage or needing to heal. I'm happy about that. Uh, you know, like, it's not a big deal, but it does help, because healing is sparse right now. Uh, so yeah, I was able to do that. Bad news is it's later in the night. Like, I, I, I was recording earlier in the day, and now it's later in the night, so. I mean, not that it took me that long, it's just more, I kind of wanted to get it done in one sitting, and sadly I was not able to. Anyways, uh, I mentioned the Duralumi case earlier. I should open it now before I forget. Bow gunpowder. Can I can I not combine it? I can't combine it? That's... I'm not going to lie to you. That's a little annoying. Uh, well, I guess I'll store it for now. I've heard that this is really useful to have for certain bosses and or enemies. But I don't know if... I, I'm feeling really stingy. Like, I'm, I'm really paranoid about using, uh... About using weapons. And I really shouldn't be, because at this point I'm doing much worse on healing than I am on weapons and ammo, so... Ugh, whatever. Anyways, the good news is I still remember the password is 1971, so... Unless it changes, like, randomly throughout the fucking... I, I, unless the playthrough time determines it, I should be fine. So. Oh, god damn. Can I skip this? I can! Wow, I didn't actually expect to be able to skip it. Alright. Okay, can I just, can I just input it? Can I, yeah. 1971. I wonder if that's going to be an important year. I mean, it, it almost certainly has to be. It'll probably be like one of the birth years for a character or something. Who knows? Anyways, the Bandersnatch is going to jump in and be like, Ah, oh, ooga booga booga! Any minute now. There we go. Oh no! Not me! You missed me! So now I just have to dodge the three Bandersnatches in that next room, which, to be frank, I am not very confident I will be able to do, but we'll see. I mean, I have a save point right before it, so if I fuck it up, I can just keep on trying. If anything, the biggest problem is I don't know where on the screen I'm supposed to be going, so that might cause me to take unnecessary damage in and of itself, you know? Ah, well. Alright. Let's... Asshole. Asshole. Okay, there's... St oh, okay. So I'm making it to the stairs. That that much is clear. Alright. Uh, well, I guess let's off-screen back here. Alright, so can we do it this time? Sources say potentially. I could have sworn there was a third Vanderstancer. I guess there's only two. Which is good, because three would be harder. That said, I am not looking forward to how much of a... Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay, careful. We got it, we got it, we got it! Yeah, nice. Alright. Oh, what? What do you mean you can follow? What do you mean? Okay, well, fuck you too. <laughs> you could follow? Well, I can dodge. Alright. What? What? Um... Do you mind just opening? There's Bander Snatches, bitch. Open up quicker. Uh, what's gonna be behind here? I'm not. I'm not nervous now. Uh, bats. That's a problem. Uh, I don't have any way to deal with bats that I know of. Cause as far as I'm aware, you're supposed to have the lighter for them. Uh, shit. What's in this door? Is it a save point? I. I'm not gonna lie to you. A save point would be pretty hot and tempting. I see handgun ammo. Oh god! What do you mean? What is with- 
I really don't like these enemies. And I didn't expect that I would, but they are really fucking... They just, they hit you from across the fucking room. It's annoying. Ugh. Okay, whatever. We're reloading yet again. I'm going to try and kill these fuckers. I am tired of them being annoying to me. I tried killing them with handgun ammo off screen earlier, and it's just not happening. I'm hoping maybe against all hope I can stagger them with a grenade launcher. I obviously won't have enough grenade ammo to kill all of them, but I gotta try, man. Like, they're just too annoying. Like, they hit you from across the room, and they do damage. Like, okay. Does it only take two to kill them? What the fuck? Oh my god, it only takes two to kill them. Damn. This whole fucking time, I could have been fucking a grapefruit. No, but really, it only takes two to kill them. Okay. That is reassuring. Now I know that if I run into them, I should just use the grenade launcher. Okay. Granted, I don't know how plentiful grenade launcher ammo is. Oh my god, a red herb! Oh my- Okay, if I die, I know to bring a green herb with me, and then I can just use the- Okay. Thank god. Okay. I have- I have learned so much in the past 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, do I really have to sit through this every time, bro? Every fucking time. This is so unnecessary. Like, it's... It's not scary. Okay, I'm gonna kill the other Bandersnatch. Well, I can! Where's the door? There's the door. Okay, hopefully I can get to it before it kills me. Wish me luck, girlies. If I die, so be it. Fuck everything! God damn it! They're just so- they attack you when you can't even see them off screen! How is that not the most dumb fucking annoying game design? Like, why would you do that? Why? Why? I'm really just fucked off by how stupid the Bandersnatch is as an enemy design, like... It's just- okay. I would- I wouldn't mind it if this was like a boss that you encountered once or something. Or if it was like maybe even a mini boss and you see it every now and then but not super often. But this is a regular ass enemy that you encounter pretty fucking frequently. And so it can hit you from off screen and it can like, it's command grab like thing can take you from fine to caution. And it can hit through walls and it just, if it gets even one hit on you. This is a game with limited healing, so it's like... It's, it's just frustrating, man. Like, it's, it's just... It's for what? For what is my question? Like, this isn't even an interesting enemy design. He has a long arm. Fuck me. Like, Hunters had at least a sort of interesting design. I'm not gonna go out and say that they were, like, the coolest thing ever. I think Lickers were cool, too. Like, you know, it's like, if you're going to have this type of enemy, at least make them visually interesting. This thing just looks like a fucking, like, I don't even know. It looks like a, like, like, there was a monster contest, I or not contest, but, like, assignment we had to do in English class one day in sixth grade. We had to design a monster. And Bandersnatch just looks like what a lot of my classmates drew. Because they just, it's just not visually interesting. It's just like, oh, man, wouldn't it be scary if long arm? Get in there. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm annoyed because I've, I've gotten to this guy in this room and he just command grabs me sometimes and does a fuckload of HP and it, it, it's really annoying. Okay, good. He's dead. Okay. Okay. We're keeping this one probably. Okay. There's nothing useful here. I'm just annoyed with these enemies. I'm sorry. They're fucking stupid. It's like, for what reason? Like, hunters can be really aggressive and fuck you up because it's like, that's you're entering the hard part of the game. Where the game's now like, okay, do you really know your navigation skills? Are you really good at enemy dodging? But like, here, it's just like, what do I do? I can't... Uh, whatever. I, I, I'll stop bitching, but... I think I've made some amount of case. Uh, it looks like that's a first aid spray, but it's not. Alright. Okay, um... Is there anything else in here? Hey, something. Ink ribbon! Sure, why not? If I find a save point, I'm tempted to stop. In fact, I almost certainly will now. It's like, what, 50 minutes-ish? 
Is that all that was in here? Is just the say the ink ribbons? Oh, okay. Uh, I could probably light that then. Am I ever gonna get my lighter back? I would very much like it because the bats in that room. I've been told if you have the lighter out, the bats won't fuck with you. And unfortunately, well, uh, a lighter has been traded. So I kind of don't want to dick around down here too long before the bats get me. Uh, okay. Are they following me? I can't tell. Ah, fuck. Stop it! Okay, uh, I can't tell what is door- Fuck! Stop it! Uh... Okay, I can't tell if I should even bother shooting them. It feels like it'd be a waste of ammo, but... Then again, anything to- Okay. Is that a first aid spray? On the right, I mean. Uh... It is! Cool! Well, I'm- I'm so un- Oh my god! I'm so unafraid to use first aid sprays at this point, so whatever. I just want to find a save point right now. Uh. Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Okay. So why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? Um... So what is it, Alexia? N nothing God, it's I so hard to take Alfred seriously. Let us go, brother. That voice is so, like... Comical. Whatever. Okay, um... What's over here? Green herb! Don't mind if I do. What's my health at? I'm at fine still. Okay, good. The bats didn't do that much damage. Oh, I can actually enter this door? I would have assumed... That I... Sh she would be like, I better not. Or... Or that it'd be locked or something. Alright. Can you just open the fucking... I don't like these sections either where it's like the load screen's extra long now. Like, can you just open the door? Like, I, I think the beauty of the load screen is that it was already like that, you know? It was already like there was some level of, like, tension. Because you always had to sit through and you never knew when a load screen... <laughs> okay. I just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get over it, okay. The music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King Return. Okay, so is that the red thing I have? Uh, yes. Okay, I can put the red thing in, I think. Hello? Okay, for some reason I thought I heard... Well, I thought I saw something would have been moving or something. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, alright. So, where's the key? There's the key. What is this? Silver key! Don't mind if I do. Oh. Uh, am I supposed to go up? Alright, um, is there anything else in here? Relief, it seems to resemble a goddess. Could I have? I could have gone in another room over there, and I'm kind of tempted to check if that's a save point. Just cause it feels like it might be. I mean, it doesn't hurt to check at this point. Going upstairs doesn't feel save pointy. And suddenly, there's enemies. A bandersnatch appears from anywhere. Nothing. Alright. I should check what the silver key does. Well, like, if it has a clue to where to use it. Oh, there's the blue thing. Uh... Cool. Hello. Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, just checking. I'm not missing anything, right? I'm assuming I need to combine, like, an item to get the sapphires out of there. Like, you won't let me... Blue sapphire is embedded by no... Okay. Alright, just checking. Alright, so I guess we're going up the ladder, and hopefully we're getting a save point, because... Fuck knows if we're not. I don't... I don't know when we're saving. Wait, I just realized. Is that... What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> looks like a rock with a coat on it. And it also kind of looks like I could push it or something, but I guess not. Whatever. Uh, wait, was that ammo? No, that's a... Oh, it is ammo! Okay. I have so much fucking handgun ammo. I feel like I'm not using it enough, but it's like, I tried to use it against the bander snatches off screen, and they just ruined my day. So, I just, I don't know what I can realistically be using handgun ammo on, because it's like, the bow gun is better for zombies, I feel like, because I, then I'd be having too much bow gun ammo, but then, I don't know. Uh, oh. I can't go up here? Ah, shit, what do I do then? Um, this is a problem, I think. Yeah, what do I do? Oh, I can take this. That didn't even occur to me, Okay. Okay, so now, once I do that, then I put it... Okay. Alright. Again, I'm mostly just concerned about getting myself a save point. <laughs> I'm, I'm not interested in, in, in continuing much further, to be honest with you. So. It also helps that just... I'm, I'm kind of ready to stop recording for the day. Slash week. <laughs> okay, um... What? H huh? Okay, the music plate's been pulled out. Can I- I can't insert it then, right? Can I use the silver key? Ugh, shit. What do I use the silver key? You know what? I probably use it back in the mansion. God damn it. Palace, whatever. So I can't- I can't- I can't do anything here. Ah, oh, fuck. I have to go back through the room with the Bandersnatch. Alright, alright, fine. I'm shooting those bats, I can tell you that. I have the handgun ammo. At this point, I'm shooting those bats. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't want them getting more damage on me. So. Uh, I'm, I'm a little a little disappointed I couldn't get to a save point in the next... Well, like... Within the last five minutes, I couldn't find one, so... Whatever. Fuck off! Asshole! No, I'm just trying to mash. I don't need the map. Oh, uh, you took me down to caution? You sick fuck. Oh my god. Shit like this is super fucking annoying. I wish I had known I would have been going back here. I would have just killed them. <sighs> the fucking... Get away from me, you mongrel fuck. Oh, and I'm wasting all my ammo. Because I can't... How are you supposed to aim at these cunts? Oh my god. This is so fucking annoying. Okay. You know, just, just, just out of spite. Just out of spite. Oh my god. Fuck you. What, what level of health am I? I'm at Orange Caution. I'm so mad about that. Are you fucking kidding me? Orange Caution? From fucking bats? Oh my god. Fuck this game, man. Fuck this shit. I'm so, like, actually pissed. Is there is there anything on this side of the room that I... Anything? Orange Caution. That healing for fucking nothing. Oh my god. I just... This game makes me want to tear my fucking hair out. I'm like... It feels like I'm actively, like, fucking punishing myself every time I play it. Like, what is the fun to be had from enemies that you can't target? Like... No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm having fun, I'm having fun. It's fine. I'm having fun. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. I really love having enemies that are just the most annoying cunts on earth. 
in several capacities. Oh, man. Very mad. Cannot overstate how mad I am. Like, it needs to be said. Capital M mad about this. But whatever. I'm not even sure... I, I'm not even sure this game's gonna survive. Like, the scorn it is earning. Bandersnatch still here. You mother... How how do you want me to deal with that? Just take the hit and eat shit? Like, is that literally the only motto? The only option here? Oh, man. I'm I'm sorry to end on this note, but that is the note we're ending on. Because I'm mad. We're at, we're at time. Oh, man. That's, that is fucking frustrating. It's all fuck. Like, at least I got a green herb back, but it's like all that healing was wasted, it feels like. Ugh. You know, maybe maybe in due time I will come to appreciate this game once I learn it better. But right now it has fucked me off a bit, so. Not even a bit, honestly, a lot. It has fucked me off a lot. So <sighs> before we before we quit, let me remember to reload the gun. There we go. All this handgun ammo and for what? For what? I'm not fighting banner snatches with handgun ammo, I'll tell you that. Whatever. Let's let's save. Yeah, we could save using the Kriven. I, I I probably should off screen that where I just kill the bats on the first go around and then deal with it, but I'm maybe I'll do that maybe I'll do that like off screen, but right now I just need to not play this game. I just need like a moment where I've not had to play this game. So next time hopefully we will survive the segment without getting annoyed at something. No promises, but hey, I, I'm trying. I am trying my fucking hardest. I'm trying my goddamn hardest to make this happen, so please forgive me if I am stumbling in my execution. <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you next time.